Okay, welcome to the fourth project for Computer Fundamentals. I have the instructions printed off, so I'm going to follow them there. You can do like me on the first project that I showed you, and you can split your screen, or you can just toggle back and forth. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the underscore 1 to an underscore 2 in the name. So we'll go to File, Save As. I'm going to go Browse and make sure that I find the right place, so I'm going to go to Documents. Okay, and I'm going to, where I've opened it twice, it says 1-1, one one. you may have run into the same thing, or to an underscore 2, save. Alright, so the name has changed, we're good to go, so it can be submitted to Sam without any issues. Okay, so, step 1, you are writing a research report on the future of electricity for your introduction to economics class. You must write the paper in the MLA style and incorporate suggestions from your instructor, Martin Kerr. Modify the normal style by changing its font to Times New Roman, the font size to 12 points, and the line spacing to double with no blank space after paragraphs. So we're going to look at our normal style, which is up here. Right click, modify. So it says Times New Roman and 12 points, and it wants you to double the spacing and no blank space. So I don't see anywhere to change spacing after paragraphs here. So I'm going to go down to format and to find that would normally be up here in the drop down for paragraph group. So we're going to go to the paragraph drop down. After right now is 8, we want it to be 0. Okay, click OK and anything that was chosen with normal will adjust to what our new normal style has been changed to. Step 2 Apply the modified normal style to the first four paragraphs in the document from Erica Alubi to 14 April 2021. So I'm going to highlight all those four there. And if you're starting from the top going down, make sure that you highlight that last paragraph mark as well. And then we're going to just click on normal. Step three, edit the header to enter Alubi as the head te header text followed by a plain page number and then close the header in footer tools. So here's your header. Double click. Okay, now I'm going to type in a Luby space and I'm going to go to my page number and I'm going to go to current position because it doesn't say page margins, bottom, top, just current position, plain number. Then close my header and footer tools. Step four, create a first line indent of 0.5 inches for all the body paragraphs beginning with recently three developments and ending with power to consumers, which is all the way to the bottom. So they want you to highlight basically all the body paragraphs. And they want you to create a first line indent of 0.5. So first line indent, you can see there's indents here, but they're just left and right. So we're going to go drop down, indentation, here's special, first line. 0.5 is the default, so we're going to leave it like that. However, some people's computers are set up in centimeters. If yours is, I'll sh there's a video on my YouTube channel to show you how to change it from inches to centimeters um, in the settings on your computer. However, a quick way to do it is in 0 decimal 5 and double quotations. So that's the inches sign and when you click OK, your computer will automatically convert it from inches to centimeters. Okay. Step Five, find the sentence electrification is the process of converting a machine or a system to run on electrical power. After the period in that sentence, insert a footnote with the following text. Okay, so I'm looking for electrification. Oh, here it is. After that period, I need to find a footnote, which is in the references tab. Insert footnote. And the text is, it can also mean Oops, providing electricity to a state or a region. Make sure I don't get any typos. Okay. So I'm just going to click outside of that. Step six, modify the footnote text style by changing its font size to 12 points, the line spacing to double, and the indentation to a 0.5 in in inches first line indent. Okay, so the footnote text style, I'm going to go back down here, I'm going to right click, and style. And I need to modify it by changing its font to 
Okay, so this is where your font is to in sizing, so we're going to have to click on Modify. And we're going to have to change that to 12. And the line spacing to double, which is right here. We did that just earlier. And the first line indent, so that's special indentations. Again, you only see left and right here. So we're going to have to go down to Format. And where you would normally find that is in the drop-down on the Home tab, the drop-down for the Paragraph Group. So we're going to have to go to the Paragraph Group here. And here we go is our first line indent. 0.5 is the default. So you click OK. So you can see it changed there. So we'll click OK apply and you can see all that change the footnote style. We're just going to click outside here to make sure we don't make any mistakes. Step 7. In the third body paragraph, insert a citation to the existing Bingham source before the period at the end of the sentence in a centralized energy system and other devices. So one, two, three. In a centralized energy system and other devices. So before the period, we're going to insert a citation. So to an existing source. So we don't have to add a source. We're going to go up to insert citation. Here are the existing sources and we're going to find Bingham. Perfect. Step 8. On page 2, find the sentence digitalization means me mechanizing business processes. Okay, well, it's on the first page, so here it is here. Replace the word m mechanizing with a synonym that begins with the letter A. Okay, so we're going to go up to review, and we're going to go to thesaurus, and we're going to replace it with a word that starts with A, which is the first one here, thrown. Uh, we're just going to click insert here and it replaces mechanizing with automating and close down your thesaurus. Step 9, reply to your instructor's comment attached to the same sentence with the following text. I added one. So Martin Kerr here has, you know, given you a, a suggestion and you can reply here by saying, I added one. Period. Make sure you add your period in there. Step 10, in the same paragraph, edit the Geller citation to add 26 as the page number. So here's Geller. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to edit the citation. And here's my pages. I'll add 26. OK. So it shows you that then it's page 26. Step 11. Read and then delete the comment attached to the sentence, significant pro progress is being made to provide electricity to the parts of the developing world that do not have, have it. Before the period in that sentence, insert a citation to a new source using the information shown in figure one, which is below in the um, instructions. So, significant process, that's this one here. All right, so I want you to read it. Of course, we've just read it. Uh, we're going to go delete and click delete. But now we need to do what they asked us to do and insert a citation to the new source. So citations always go before the period, and we're going to go to references, insert citation, and it's a new source. So you'll see this in your instructions, but it is going to be a website. The author is Yang Tim. Name of the web page is the last mile for electricity. Oh my. Oops. Okay. Oh no. Day access is two. Alrighty. 
Yang Tim, the last mile for electricity, no. Typos, 2020, May 4th, 2021, April 2nd, website. Okay. Perfect. Yang gets entered in there. Step 12. In the last body paragraph before the period at the end of the sentence, the rapidly falling cost. Here we go, the rapidly falling costs. Insert a citation placeholder using moise as the name of the placeholder. All right, so that's going to be again at the end here, just before the period. So I'm going to insert a citation placeholder, meaning I don't know all the information for Moyle's source, but I do know that this is the person who I am quoting. Okay. Step 13, delete the Briggs source from the current list of sources. Okay, so when you're doing anything to do with your sources, deleting or editing, you'll go to manage sources. So the Briggs right here, if you'll see, has no check mark next to it, meaning it hasn't been used in the document. So we are going to delete it from our source list. Step 14, find all instances of the word developments in the document and use trends as the replacement. So this is a find and replace. So we will go home, we'll click on replace, and we're going to find developments. We're going to replace it with trends. And it says find all instances of the word, so we're going to go replace all. Three replacements. Okay, close. Step 15. In the blank paragraph at the end of the document, use the insert bibliography command to insert a list of sources without a built in heading. So we'll go to references. And our bibliography, these here are built in um, headings. So if you click on insert bibliography, it will give you one without a heading, and you don't need the heading because you've already got works cited typed up right here. Okay, so that's the end of your project. You can just go up and hit the floppy disk to make sure it's saved because we've already changed the name and go submit it to Sam. Good job.